Hi everyone, another day, another little vlog. Quit me on the roll, <laughs> literally. <laughs> oh guys, I'm having so many just aches and pains lately and I felt really ill last night. Oh yeah, if you knew, hi, before I tell you my life story. <laughs> uh, my name's Sam, I have a baby over there, look. He's just woke up, which I can't actually believe, but we have been driving for a little while because I've had to nip to high school. Um, but yeah, I've got loads of kids. I've got 11, 11 of them and yeah i've managed to get them all to school mad rush again as always but they're all at school i did have to nip to high school and i've got to go to the doctors i've got to also well i don't have to do this but if you watched yesterday's video i'll have mentioned about my sister seeing this pram and it might be gone it might not be there but i thought well i might as well nip around this charity shop because i am pregnant and they had an eye candy for 80 pound obviously it's a used pram don't know what condition it's in i've seen like a couple of pictures it looked it looked nice but i've got a feeling it's probably already gone and i'd expect it to have already gone but we can always have a little look if it's meant to be for me then it'll still be there and i need to go in iceland and stuff anyway that's only over there because yes i do a lot a lot of food shopping too much food shopping i've just been on about it with boys and they're like just stop buying so many biscuits <laughs> i'm like but if i don't buy stuff like that you'll go crazy that there's no in house because obviously i know it looks like loads on alls but there's 11 of them so you need a few packs of something so they can have one each do you know what i mean it, and it doesn't last and i've got packed lunches to do you know they come out of school like they've never been fed <laughs> i don't know what your kids are like but that's what mine are like but yeah so i've got a really busy day but like i say i'm just not feeling too good today just a bit really achy pain it backache pains in my stomach um last night i couldn't sleep for how sick i felt and i were really gutted as well because i fancied ribs for ages and if you've been watching my food dolls i keep saying oh all right fancy some ribs but every time i make them the boys have them and i just give them to them but last night david nipped out and he says shall i pick us some up because i had no tea and I says, oh, why don't we have some ribs, <laughs> right? So it got us, and they, they were from Tesco's, and to be honest with you, they weren't as nice as Aldi's. They're a little bit cheaper, though, like if you buy two packs, they're £8. But Aldi are obviously like nearly £5 a pack. But Aldi's are so, the bigger as well, and they're so much nicer. So you thought we might as well get two packs anyway, because they're on this offer. But they're not as nice. And I didn't have anything else with the ribs that I had. I didn't have anything else with them and yet I got really high sugar reading after so it must have been the sauce it must have been the barbecue sauce so yeah a bit gutted about that um I'm a bit like now do I ring the hospital do I leave it a little bit longer because they said if I can oh what has she got out of that shop there she's got a cabinet out at British Art Foundation I'm always in there having a scare because if there's all but yeah um Sorry, that was completely off topic, wasn't it? I've got a milky bar for you in my pocket, darling. He's had um, Weetabix and a yoghurt and some milk, haven't you? It's only 10 in the morning or something. Uh, and I feel like I've already just been running around <laughs> for ages, but it is life. I know you're too close to you. I mean, my head will take up all your screen, won't it? But, um, yeah, so what were I saying? Got a couple of phone calls to make i've already sent some emails that i had to do for rick kids and stuff i've got to go and take lucas's little clippings to um doctors because they need to refer in well he's already been referred i can't remember if i told you he's got problems with his nails his toenails i think he's probably gonna have to have two removed because he's they're always infected and yeah he can't keep going on antibiotics for him and i did have a doctor look at him when he went to the hospital with bronchitis not that long ago he got sent down because of his sats and stuff and then um, she looked at his toenails and said oh i need a surgeon to come look at them and then didn't bother did she and i wasn't going to be admitted overnight for the sake of some at gp can refer for anywhere so yeah um he's not he's okay at minute like he's fine but i just need they need proper looking at it and they need his nails need testing to make sure there's no sort of I don't know fungally things or something in them so sorry lucas just telling everybody about your nails um it's just one of the, i've never known it with a baby and the doctors are really the fact i've got so many pictures of his toes and one of them you know he's really good he keeps sending me messages and stuff like that and letting me know updates and that and he keeps asking for pictures because he wants to see his toes regularly and you know, make sure they're not getting infected again so they have been really on ball i have to say at doctors but yeah it's just it's just an, another thing really i've got a few of them that have got referrals at minute and 
it's for different things um so it's just more appointments but you just want your kids to be okay don't you so anyway as usual because i've had to go to high school i've come out for my sausage sandwich but i really don't feel like eating it but i have to take my tablets so i've got to take my metformins and um i've got a decaf latte but again everything's just feel like it's turning my stomach I think so after those ribs last night I just went so ill and I laid in bed and I was wrapped in all them new cushions I've got and um yeah Dave he'd fallen asleep and I and I've just I just couldn't get comfortable. I feel like the I feel further in the pregnancy than I am because I just feel like just so big. I'm not obviously not baby's been scanned loads of times and measured and stuff, but I'm worried it's the water and then that makes me think well I need to get that insulin. But right, we'll see. I'll update you on that. I'm always cautious that I bore you with pregnancy stuff and diabetes stuff. But I still, even though it's my third time with it, I still feel like I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, but yeah, so we're going to go see if we can find that pram. And then I'm going to do an Iceland top-up shop again. I'm probably going to do a lot of top-up shops over the next few days because we've got so much on. I'm not going to be able to do like a really big shop. I mean, I'm going a bit numb. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to do a really big shop because I've just got so much on. We've got a birthday boy. I think tonight we might be going to Costco as well because he really wants the brownies, not a cake. I'm still going to get him a cake because he can't have a cake on his birthday. But he really wants the Costco brownies. So um, we're going to get him those. Dave's trying to sort the insurance out for the minibus because it's so expensive. I can't even tell you how much deposit is for it. But he's not putting me on it because I'm, I doubt I'm going to be up to driving the minibus, to be honest. It just, it really pulls on me when I'm driving that and it's just, a, it is massive. I mean, I'm fine driving it, but I just said to Dave, it's only really going to get used when probably you're with me anyway. Because I always have car, I mean, kids are on half term, but we can do stuff when he gets home from work and that sort of thing. Um, Just try managing it, it'll be less of a deposit and less a month if it's just Dave on it. I think anyway well it is from what he's told me but yeah let's go see if we can find that pram and we'll also do an Iceland top-up shop because I'm gonna get some chicken I think for wraps or something tonight see what offers are on but I have to carry it that's the only thing in baskets so I will be able to get loads but we'll see what we get anyway and we'll see if that pram's there and I'll catch up with you in a minute so we managed to get to doctors um, and then I went and the pram was still there but it was an old version like an apple to pear one I think and it had like a few things like missing off it that I know I could replace but I just want totally sold on it and even though it's only £80 for a double I just it, it won't for me um, I did go in pound shop and I did start to buy a few things but I got that fed up in there I just put them all back we're only hand washing stuff I picked up and I just left because it was just a lot of it seems so pricey oh they were cute though them best were really cute and i was tempted but i didn't get anything i ended up putting my stuff back and going over to savers instead a lot of things in pound shop i'm finding are a lot more money than what they are in places like home bargains and savers so and they really have got the pep and co which they do have loads of cute little bits and things but yeah i just thought oh, i'll go over to savers and i'll see what i can get in there so yeah, i've got a little bit of a savers all but they did have some cute Easter bits in the pound shop, but well, Poundland, but I just, I didn't get any of it. I were really good, weren't I? It's not like me, is it? <laughs> um, so I'm in own bargains on this bit. I have already been in Savers in Iceland and put stuff in car. And it, at this point, I had a phone call off the GP saying, can you come back in? We need you to pick some up. Well, I'd already been there that day. So I was like, oh, you're kidding me. Maybe but I've got my shoes in to be ready for this. What? Oh, right, Millie's got her shoes on to be ready for the shop. We are going out soon. We've got a birthday boy today, haven't we? Yeah. We've got a giant cake. Yeah, and... go... I know where we're going. I know, we're going Tatars, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. There's some lovely yeah. Easter bits put in. Put stars in the shop. No, we're not going to put stars. Shop. We're just shop, right, we'll see. Yeah. They have got some gorgeous stuff in Home Bargains. Definite lovely little bits for Easter. So, yeah, definitely have a look. Yeah. I was tempted to get this for Daniel. But eight ninety nine. But I'd already bought him some Reese's things from B and M, so I just didn't. I didn't bother. And here I am trying to fold down my new pram. It's so easy. You literally just click the handle and it folds so small. It's great. But doing it with one hand were a bit dodgy. Well, I tried <laughs> to show you that push chair, but I picked it up with one hand, didn't I? <laughs> I could pick it up with one hand. It is quite light. He's fed up, stressed out. It's nearly one o'clock now. I had to go back to the doctors again, didn't I? 
So the doctor never told me there was supposed to be two samples and so I only put one in. So I've had to go back to get the pot and then I'll forget the sample and then go back again. Right, sod it, let's get home and I'll show you. <laughs> I'll show you me alls. Right guys, I'm home and I thought I'd show you quickly the Iceland bits that I've got. I just couldn't carry anything else in my basket and push the push chair. <laughs> but I did get the eight for ten pound deal, so I did get a pepperoni uh, pizza. Some southern fried chicken, some fish fillets, which my son really likes to flat out, the alpha bites, two barbecue chicken griddlers, two lots of Aunt Bessie's as well, so that's two, four, six, eight, so that were £10 for them. Now this cheeky bugger here, 99p, 99p for a bloody cucumber, it's not even that big, but we need it for tea tonight and a bag of salad for it wraps, that were 99p. We've got ash brown bites, these are lovely. They're only a pound a bag, so they'll go with wraps tonight, probably. And then in the wraps, so I've got crispy chicken, Cora chicken and salt and pepper chicken. They're quite spicy, but they're on three for £10. And then I've got the wraps, so I've got two lots of wraps. And some jammy joeys, and they were £3 for those three. Um, but that's it, that's all I've got from Iceland, but I'll quickly put it away, because I've been here, there and everybody where. These are out of Iceland as well, and they're only a pound for ten little pickup bars. So, as you see, um, I went into Savers. I did go into Poundland, and I just walked back out. I'd picked up this in Poundland. But I didn't, this isn't the Poundland one, this is out of Savers, but I picked up one of those, and I just put it back and walked out, and I thought, I just, I can't be bothered in here. It was too hot. It were, it just wasn't a very nice atmosphere. It was busy at till. And I thought, I can probably buy what I want in here cheaper somewhere else, like the own bargains and that. So I ended up just walking out. I got um, my hand wash for the kitchen. It's that savers, so that were a pound. The weaning spoons, I think, were only a pound for five. Because these that I really went in there for. I got, I'm going to clean the car out and put this in. I must have a thing for cherry, actually, because that's wild cherry. And some that I got out of own bargains is cherry. I'll show you it in a minute. Um, these were 29p for some cotton wool pads and 3 49 for four packs of the Huggies wipes. So we got them. And then I got the girls some little headbands that were only, I think, a quid for two. And Because Caitlin didn't like the other bobbles that I got, so I've picked these ones up. And these are like little Barbie colours, aren't they? So I've just got them some more little hair bits and some sponges. And then into home bargains, this is all I got. I've got some Skittles for after school. The milk chocolate peanuts for one of them that likes them. These buttons are actually this part of the reason why I bought the honey. So I don't really buy honey that often. But I've seen this recipe, I think it ran on Instagram, to make little toddler little obnobs. <laughs> so you obviously he's not a little in it, but he's like weaning and stuff. And having his oats, melted butter, a bit of flour and a couple of spoons of honey, that makes your biscuit bits. But they had no bloody cookie cutters, did they? So yeah, I'm just going to find some like a cup or something. I suppose a cup would be too big. I've probably got some that I can make shape. So yeah, bake them and then melt your chocolate and dip them in. So I'm going to try it anyway and see what I can what I can do. I did get some drinking straws and I needed that for the straws on the kids' water bottles in a little brush to clean them properly. So they were 99p at bone bargains. Some pens because I never have any pens. Kids are always losing pens for school. So I've picked some up. I've, got, I've run out of vitamins for older kids. Well, not the older, older ones, but you know the older, younger ones. <laughs> and I got these for like 129 which I thought were really good. So I'll try those. And then the one thing that I did treat myself to was dark cherry candle. I wasn't going to buy a candle, but I sniffed it and I was like, oh, that smells so good. So I did pick up a candle as well. So there isn't much of an all today. I did only get a few bits, but I've got stuff in for tea, stuff in just to keep it in freezer. There's a bit of a Copeland's going on as well, because uh, kids love these biscuits. And Shane loves the ginger squares. And they're just sausage rolls and cheese straws in them. But yeah, that's what we've got anyway. Right, it's getting near school pickup time now and I'm going to have to run, but I've just put a red air dye on. I mean, still a bit damp, as you can tell, <laughs> because it's too near school time for me to properly sort it out. But um, I think I've left a lot of dye in it as well. I've rinsed it the best I could. I've just run upstairs to change my top because I didn't bother, did I? So I've ruined this, but to be honest, it's bobbly as all. Um, I'm doing makeup <laughs> and I'll properly wash it tonight, but I think I'm going to Costco, so to go like this so it's a bit loud because we're in the minibus it's a lot later in the day 
we're going to pick some kids up and we've got um, the Costco trip to do with my hair like this so I have put a dye on it and I've still left half a dye in it and because the school run hang, hang on the school rang me for like a, for Aaron like a parents evening and then <laughs> then I, it was school time on it and yeah it's all still in my hair I've not washed half it out Dave it's <laughs> I'm so embarrassed. Right, hopefully it'll take better water. <laughs> Either that or it'll all just fall off. Right, we're gonna go get these. We're gonna get a couple of bits from Costco. I might do a separate haul, but I don't think I'll be getting loads anyway. But it's just stuff for Daniel for his birthday. And yeah, I will see you in a bit. Hi guys, so it is dark now. <laughs> We've been to Costco, collected all kids and everything. And uh, yeah, we've been to Costco. We are on our way home via Tesco to get the Duns River marinade for the chicken because it's apprentice tonight. And these have the little routine of the jerk chicken, don't you? No. So they're going to be doing that. Um, we should do every Thursday now. I'm on a bit of a roll at the minute doing all these bits of filming. I don't know what I'll get done tomorrow. So I'm not going to put pressure on myself to do them every day or all like that anyway. But you know. I like to do me when I get where I'm right enjoying doing them and stuff and then when I feel like I, I can't do them then I, I take a break you know I do but um yeah I'm just knackered <laughs> I'm absolutely knackered and I keep getting really bad waves of sickness all the time don't I but yeah um we're gonna go get a drink just if I really want a cold like Fanta or something after my diet <laughs> just so much to drink been into Costco. I'm gonna do it all when I get home, so I'll put that video up tomorrow. So you're definitely gonna get another video, and yeah, which I haven't even filmed yet, so it's a bit weird saying that. But I hope you've enjoyed it anyway. Another day coming round, a bit of Sam's life, <laughs> back and forth as usual. And then tomorrow I'm just gonna be doing cleaning, and I do have to go to hospital with um with one of my girls again because it were another abnormal result, and they want to repeat them. So. I've got to go do that tomorrow um, with her, which I'm not really looking forward to, but it's just one of them things, in it? I say I'm not looking forward to it, it's that poor kid that's got to have needle, but, you know, it's just, yeah. <laughs> I know, you've got to do these things, so. Right, I will see you on the next one, which will be my Costco Al. What are you beeping at? <laughs> see you later, say bye, Dave. I did.